Repair Clinic makes fixing things easy. With millions of replacement parts available on our website and the help you need to do the repair yourself. If your refrigerator is not cooling, here are the top six most probable causes. To cool the air inside the compartments, refrigerators use a compressor to pump refrigerant through two different kinds of coils. The condenser coils, usually located at the bottom of the appliance, and the evaporator coils, normally found behind the rear panel. The refrigerant, in gas form, is first pumped into the condenser coils, where the gas is condensed into a hot liquid. The condenser coils dissipate the heat as the liquid travels through them. Over time, these coils will collect dust, dirt, and hair, preventing the coils from properly dissipating the heat and reducing the refrigerator's ability to cool. You should use a condenser coil brush to clean off the coils periodically to ensure optimum refrigerator operation. A malfunctioning condenser fan motor could also prevent the refrigerator from cooling properly by failing to draw air past the condenser coils. The component can fail mechanically or electrically. A broken fan blade or a blade that does not turn freely could indicate a mechanical failure. If the motor is receiving power but doesn't run, then the motor has probably failed electrically. Once the refrigerant has passed through the condenser coils and a capillary tube, it travels to the evaporator coils, where the liquid expands into a gas, making the coils cold. The evaporator fan motor draws air over the coils to cool it and circulates the air through the freezer and refrigerator compartments. If the evaporator fan motor is defective, the cold air will not be circulated into the refrigerator. If the motor is unusually noisy when the refrigerator is running, or the fan blade does not turn freely, you should replace the motor with a new one. You can also use a multimeter to test the motor windings for continuity, a continuous electrical path present in the motor. If the motor tests negative for continuity, then the component has failed electrically. The start relay, or capacitor, works in conjunction with the start winding to cycle the compressor on and off. If the relay, or capacitor, is faulty, the compressor may fail to cycle properly or may not work at all. The evaporator coils collect frost as the air passes over them. Since frost buildup can cause airflow problems, the coils require periodic defrosting. Older models needed to be defrosted manually, but most of today's models use an automatic defrost system, consisting of a defrost heater, a defrost thermostat, and a defrost control. Depending on your model, the control may be a defrost timer or a defrost control board. If the control, thermostat, or heater fails, the evaporator coils will likely frost over, causing poor cooling in the refrigerator. You can test both the heater and thermostat for continuity to determine if a continuous electrical path is present. Be aware you'll need to test the thermostat at a temperature of 15 degrees Fahrenheit or lower for a proper reading. If both the thermostat and heater test positive for continuity, it's likely that the control is defective and will need to be replaced. The temperature control board allows voltage to be sent to the compressor and the fan motors. If the control board is malfunctioning, the cooling system won't cycle on. Since this is not a common problem, you should verify that the other components are working properly before replacing the board. For additional troubleshooting information, enter your appliance's full model number in our website's Repair Help search bar. At Repair Clinic, we make fixing things easy. Thank you for supporting the production of these videos by purchasing your parts from our website.